Welcome back to Pursuit Fishing. We're doing something a little different here today. I um, I want to talk fitness and why I think it matters. So I am going to go fishing this afternoon and I'm going fishing tomorrow. But this morning, before I go fishing, I'm going to get my workout in. Um, fitness changes how I fish. Uh, so what I want to talk about here is is why fitness matters to me and what I do to be efficient in getting my workouts in because I don't like to work out. I don't like it, probably like a lot of you. Uh, however, I do like to compete. I do like to be an athlete and I like to play sports and fishing to me is a sport, right? Spending <clears throat> eight, 10, 12 hours on the water in you know, 90, 100 degree weather in the summer, your fitness matters. So I'll uh, talk a little bit about it and then I'm gonna take you on my journey to journey. I'm gonna take you on my, on my workout, show a couple clips. So I have a little bit of background. I've always been an athlete, so to say. I didn't play college sports and I didn't do anything crazy, but I always played sports. Baseball, track, basketball, right, in high school. Uh, right after high school, I picked up tennis and I've played tennis for about 20 years. That's my sport now as an adult, right? I'm 38, I picked it up about ni at 19. Um, but I never trained, I just played my sport. Uh, I, uh, until about 30, I didn't train. And so from about 30 till now, I have trained. Um, and what I do to be efficient is I do two to three workouts a week, about an hour. Uh, I play tennis two or three times a week. And if I play tennis three times, I probably do two workouts. If I work out three times or four times, I may play tennis once or twice. Um, I try to do something active five days a week is kind of what it comes down to. All right, so what I do to be efficient with my workouts since I hate it, right? I don't go out and jog for miles. Jogging sucks and it hurts. What I do is I run to my club, which is about a mile and a half from my house. And when I say run, I do a short, you know, couple hundred yard warm up jog, do a little stretching. And then literally I run like intermittent sprints to the club at maybe 70 to 85% of a max sprint. Do that for as long as I can, stop, walk, recover. There's a hill going over the freeway. It's about 100, maybe 125 yards, right? It's an overpass. I fully recover and I do a max effort sprint up the hill. Depending on the day and how I feel, I'll do it one to three times and then I jog the rest of the way to the club, grab a glass of water, chill, and then go do a workout, right? And for my workout, I do pull-ups every, every time. 20 to 30 pull-ups, not at once. I do them in you know groups of five or seven. Um, and then I just mix in other random things. So I think fitness uh, for me, changing it up, right? I'll do squats, front squats, back squats, power cleans, deadlifts, bench press, pull-ups, uh, weighted lunges, right? Holding dumbbells and doing walking lunges, um, box jumps, step-ups. Step-ups are fantastic for me, right? Getting a box out that's 24 to 30 inches and just stepping up onto it and off, both legs, um, the reason that matters is when I go out and bank fish, right, hike up and down a river for miles and do it all day, I'm stepping up on rocks, off rocks, with a backpack, two, three, four rods, right, all day. And it, it makes a difference. So I'm sharing this because I think a lot of people would have their fishing and their life benefit from getting some fitness in there. And this doesn't take me long, it takes me about an hour, right? Like 15 minutes, 20 minutes to jog to the club, I put in some work, and then I walk home. I get, an, especially in the summer, get a nice walk home, takes again 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go do that and show some clips, and then, uh, then I'm gonna go fish this afternoon. Yeah, where you go All alone in this dark dream
place and inside The perfume is strong And it's on me Waiting on you to call me The moment you do Believe I'll be, I'll be Awaking free Wide awake, wide ain't slipping I won't die today, won't you listen? Feels good, better, time to fish. Yeah. All right, so got that workout done. I feel a hell of a lot better. I mean, it's not fun to do it, but getting that blood flowing, like, that feels good. You know, I, I didn't do this video to, I don't know, try, uh, try to show off or do anything like that. I got nothing to show off. I'm a thin person. You know, I, I just try to stay, I try to stay healthy. I try to stay fit because again, I want to do these things. I love, I love playing a tennis match and watching guys in their 20s play a long point, start huffing and puffing and sweating right and then I, I'm still ready to go um, the clips I threw in there were just to show the simple things I do I don't lift real heavy right I did some back squats and I think I stopped at 155 today because I realized I hadn't done back squats in about three weeks so if I'd have gone up to 185 or you know 205 <laughs> I'd have been real sore so I stayed light but I moved I did bench I did squats some pull-ups you know just some random athletic things hanging on the bar holding the handstand when was the last time you did a handstand think about it probably when you were a kid right kids do these things why why don't we my friends make fun of me no i'm not gonna lie they're like dude you do handstands yep i do i like to be able to say that i do handstands that i sprint and that i jump so i i, I did the video right again it wasn't to do anything other than maybe it helps one person maybe one person gets motivated to get two or three workouts a week I promise it you will feel better on a daily basis whatever it is you like to do if you like to fish you will be surprised how much better you do when you spend a full day on the water um, so yeah that's you know that's it um, let me know if you if you liked this because I mean I could do a few more it was a pretty random idea uh, but I figured I'd throw it together and put it out there. So as always, thank you for coming along. Have a great day.